hello everyone and welcome to another video so today we are talking about an issue uh, which some of you have been facing on your task manager uh, on the startup tab you see this program which is kind of suspicious because it has no other information attached to it you can't figure out where it is coming from or what it is so today we are going to uh, see how to repair it and if you want to delete it then you can delete it as well uh, you might be assuming that it is some kind of virus and most probably it is not it is probably something that you installed and then deleted but it was just not properly deleted so what you need to do is first go to your task manager you can right click here click on task manager and when you have opened it you can go to this tab that's called startup apps uh, in the startup apps you will see that uh, you have this program uh, icon and there's not much information uh, attached to it there's nothing else it's just program and now what you need to do is you need to find out where it is coming from so what you need to do is you need to right click on the top labels whether it is startup impact or publisher you can right click it and then enable command line once you have enabled command line you'll see a lot more information to the right and once you are there on the right of the program you will now see the location of where it is coming from in my case it is coming from Wondershare Uniconverter it is a program that I uninstalled but I, it seems like it has left this program in here so what we are going to do is we are going to first repair it and then we are going to delete it so you to repair it go to registry editor you can search for registry and you will see this registry editor option uh, click on it and now you are over here in this window which is called registry editor now you can go into the folder which I mentioned uh, and show over here but the easier option will be just copy and paste uh, the values from description so in the description you will see four values you can copy and paste it over here and as you can see as soon as I click it I am right where I want to be so it is uh, computer edge key local machine software Microsoft Windows it is hard to navigate from the left side so just copy and paste this location from the description and you will be right here so as you can see in this window I can see that the program which is Wondershare Uniconverter is right here on this window and something that is weird over here is that in the data of this key usually you see that it's C drive program file something something but in this case there are no double quotes so as you can see other programs have double quotes next to it where whenever the program is coming from the C drive but in this scenario it does not have so whichever drive it has to, should be it should be covered in double quotes so what we are going to do is we are going to right click this key click on modify and then add double quotes before and after it so this will as soon as we do that and modify it you can see that now it is fixed so make sure that you don't touch any other keys because this is kind of really important and crucial part of the operating system so don't mess around where you um, might not be sure make sure that you are on the same location as I am uh, it could be this one or it could be the other three from the description just look for the application that you are trying to repair so in my case it was Wondershare Uniconverter and I can see it is Wondershare Uniconverter so there is no harm in fixing it but if it is something that is not something that you are aware of something like uh, Windows crucial services just make sure that you don't touch it so now that is done uh, as you can see it is now fixed and you can see that the program is now converted to what it is supposed to be so now this is something that I don't have on my computer and I don't need so I'm going to delete it to delete it just click on the key that you just modified and right click and then delete so this will remove the key from the registry editor and as soon as you do that it will also get removed from the task manager so this was the simple step that you need to do uh, just make sure that you don't delete uh, this key if you are still using this service because this is something uh, I deleted because I no longer use it and this is something that I am sure that I have uninstalled so if you just need to repair it just repair it if you need to delete it and only then delete it so that was all for today and uh, this is the simple fix that I was talking about so I hope uh, you like this video and I hope this helped you out if it did uh, please like this video and if you are new to the channel click on the red subscribe button below to stay updated with the latest content till then have a good one guys